Good morning, YouTube. This is Kamal, and we're screwing in the boatyard. Well, not really screwing, but we're going to talk about screws today. Um, you know, I like to share with you uh, folks who are interested in, you know, building a boat yourself one day, or if you're just a hobbyist, you know, sharing some things that I've found, my experiences. So I wanted to share with you what we're what we've been doing here. So of course we've put on the um, beams or the um, frames for the keel. And I want to show you how we're attaching these. We're screwing them in using these star head screws. They're slightly countersunk, if you can see, just slightly. And eventually that will get um, filled with epoxy. And of course, these are glued using marine grade epoxy as well. But I want to talk about the screws. Okay. Now when I built the dinghy over there, I didn't want to use any metal, but I did use screws to um, build to build the boat, then back them out as the epoxy dried. And I use regular old common screws, drywall screws. Um, I found that these backed out pretty easily. Um, got maybe every 50 screws or so one would break. So um, <laughs> probably a few shanks left in the boat <laughs> when the heads broke off, but nothing major. So the problem with these are that when you use them like I use them to lay up the Kielsen, you do get every now and then one that will break off and so having this left in your boat could be a problem right because eventually they'll rust really quickly and you might be left with a problem not a severe problem but you know these I've switched to these to do my uh, temporary stuff this is just a permaguard exterior screw Right, I believe it has a coating on it that is good for 10 years. They claim a 10 year guarantee on that coating. Okay, so we're using this now just to do regular construction stuff. If I'm screwing something together temporarily, we'll use this screw. Now, the option was to use bronze, silica bronze screws or stainless steel for permanent screws. Those screws that are now on that are now permanent. So, I wanted to step it up a little bit, but I um, wanted to do a little bit better than this. And so I looked up these screws, and it's a lifetime guarantee for exterior use. Um, of course, we're not just dealing with exterior use, we're dealing with um, a sea, uh, an ocean environment, potentially, or with seawater, rather. And so, the seawater presents an entirely different thing um, can be a lot more corrosive than typical um, screws so when I thought about using these versus silica bronze screws this box is twenty twenty five dollars maybe this is a five pound box got it from the homie depot nine by three screws All right start so I had to think what are my issues um, typically when you build a wooden boat you're worried about screws that will be left exposed for a long period of time, the entire lifetime of the boat. It's not really what I'm building. So I thought about what's the real issue? What's the engineering problem? And the problem and concern is that if you have a screw in your boat, uh, if it fails, right? That's the number one issue. If the screw fails, what happens? Well, for me, if the screw fails, nothing happens because everything is epoxy together. So the screw is typically a reinforcement or something I'm using during construction to give me the proper pressure while I'm building the components. So the screw is like a tool. So right now I could back all those screws out and fill it with epoxy. I could. I'm not going to <laughs> because that's another half a day worth of work. So I decided to use a screw that I could leave in place and that's what these are. So think about this. 
The screw is guaranteed for lifetime, the lifetime of the screw. The curveball, so to speak, is salt water. So how do we avoid salt water touching the screw? Well, if my building method is true, the screw holes get filled with epoxy and that screw becomes permanently embedded in that wood. So salt water <laughs> should not be an issue because what happens if I were to put one of those common screws in, um, salt water got to it, it corrodes away. So then we have a void inside the boat where water could potentially get to and that causes rot and a whole bunch of stuff. So we don't, wanna, we don't want that problem. But with this screw, I'm hoping that that coating is really good for the lifetime of the screw. And since we're actually embedding it in epoxy and encapsulating it in epoxy, we should be good to go. Now, I'm only using metal for the framing of the boat and of course on the interior. When it comes to putting the skin on the boat, there won't be any metal. What I'm gonna do is do like I did the dinghy, which is just use screws to hold the plywood in place until the epoxy dries, uh, give me a chance to put in the fillets and the screws come out. So on the hull of the boat, where we will have whatever's there potentially exposed to salt water, or at least a greater ability to be exposed to salt water, we're gonna use those other screws. We'll probably use uh, these. But then again, I may use these. Depends on how it goes. So that's it for getting screwed <laughs> early in the morning in the boatyard. All right, so until next time, peace and blessings.